so Lee, uh, I believe you're working on a pretty special uh, project here that I think a lot of people in the dual hardware nerd community would appreciate. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this project that you're working on? Yeah, no, I appreciate it. So yeah, it's called the Documented History of Electronic Access Control. So you talk about nerdy. It's very specific to documenting the history of, of our of our industry, basically, from the electronic access control side. So purposely not mechanical, purposely not outside of just the electronic access control side. Where it, it, a lot of it came from is I, I like history. Uh, if you think about our industry, there's not a lot of documented history, frankly. And if it is, you, you've got it on like manufacturers' websites, um, but it's very specific to like that manufacturer. And if you're a young professional coming in, where are you going to get that information? If you're uh, if you're older in in the career, and what I found is there's a handful of 80 year olds that have been around from the beginning that, frankly, are either not talked to at this point or unfortunately passing away or or don't talk about it really because no one's asking a lot of, a, a lot but a lot of times so my desire is to go out and to document that and so what we've done is we started a kickstarter which happy to say is about 120 percent and thank you for participating and uh over so we got like eight days till it closes and then we gave ourselves 365 days to go put it together and it's myself Bert Hart and Aaron Mann who I think you all know each of those people so um, each of us brings a different level of passion into what we'd like to do like Bert loves the graphics and the storytelling through pictures and the layout Aaron's a wonderful writer uh, and I love going and digging uh, and in a lot of places so uh, my curiosity takes me but yeah so what we're going to do is take that next year, find the different stories. What we've noticed so far in just doing it is that there's no like specific, you know, linear timeline that you can do. So what we have seen is there's pockets of either location or technology or people that overlap at a certain time. So uh, we're going to capture those. It'll be linear in that respect. But our hope is, is that it just is the beginning of what is a ongoing uh, documentation of what has been a, a wonderful industry for me, you, a lot of people in the past and going forward. And these stories are just kind of going away. Like I'll give you a good example is like, where did RFID come from and, and why, and how did it get into identities? And we can track a, you know, Tess in the Bosque region, all the way to Onity locks going into hotels, which reaches mobile now. And there's some really wonderful stories about regionally, uh, New Zealand versus the UK versus China versus here when it comes to where did it all start and how did it all start and where did it overlap? And in, in the end, it's just a, it's an overall celebration of an industry that we want to tell its story and to get out. And uh, it's been wonderful for me and, and started it actually with my father, which was, he retired and it was sort of one of those things of like, hey, what do you want to do something together? And we started working together on it. And then it finally, Bert, Aaron and I were like, you know what, let's go do this. So what we're going to do is we're, there's a book that's going to come out. There's a website that's going to be a .org, and our plan is to give that to one of the associations because I don't really want to own it. I don't think anybody should. And then our hope is we're going to document the process. And my dream would be at, at ISC West would be to invite some of the uh, older people that uh, haven't been to one in a long time uh, and actually do a showing and then have the opportunity to Q&A uh, with them to to do that. And then, I don't know, hopefully this will be the first of many to, to happen after that but yeah so that's that's what we're doing and super encouraged and thrilled by the community's feedback i mean we put the kickstarter out there being like all right could we drive some awareness and excitement around it and was shocked that you know within i think it was like 30 days of the 60 we we reached the the goal that we had and all of the money is going to go towards putting that together there'll be additional resources put into it on myself uh, to go do that but um, we're pretty stoked about it and, uh, and and already starting to get the work of it. So I appreciate the opportunity to to talk about it. Well, I appreciate you guys making the effort. What, what a remarkable endeavor to document such a proud organization. Like, I don't know, like it's, you told it uh, like it was. We have these industry experts that are literally dying, that are leaving that history that they have inside their head is leaving us, right? And uh, they, they only know the story because they haven't documented it and the, history, the industry hasn't done a great job of documenting it. Or if it, they have, 
it's from a manufacturer and it's obviously a little bit biased uh, towards what their uh their their point of view so i i'm happy that you are putting the work in and let us know how we can better support you no i appreciate it yeah more's coming i could it'll be an ongoing i'm um, got a trip set up code uh, we're gonna go to japan and actually go talk to a couple of lock manufacturers there but come to find out in the u.s a lot of it's out of california southern california and uh the northeast and there's pockets uh you've got a group in nebraska that a lot of people talk about there's some up in michigan like in and actually surprisingly or not um for our canadian friends a lot going on in that country that drove if you think about especially in the access control side there's just a lot of innovation that happened along the lines and come to find out one of the stories that we're going to talk about in it to tell the story more too is a lot of people think of the the dealer the channel side as just a pass through an installation arm but a lot of these electronic access control companies especially from a software standpoint come from a lot of the dealers in the marketplace that generated or created their own solutions and then they turned into companies and, and the rest of it so there's some really rich stories there's even uh, found one of the original sales people from in the New York City marketplace it's a woman um who recently retired she's been around for uh, she was around for 25 years I think it was and the stories that she has about working that marketplace and dealing with getting large equipment up into the you know and then re really the story around this idea where they would sell the systems to anybody and all of a sudden they started to verticalize them within like the financial marketplace and uh, high tech and how certain things changed the other part I'll tell you that was interesting is now we've started to gather artifacts scary is a lot of the messages that we had in 1973 are basically the same as today just different haircuts and, and different clothing in them but i don't know if that's good or bad i'm, I'm gonna leave it. It, it it feels bad um that we're telling the same value creation stories that we did in 1973 and in the year 2022 but maybe it's a good thing i don't know consistency sometimes is uh is a good thing so well, those types of things that we're going to pull out and showcase and tell stories around it. it, it won't be done. It'll never be done, but we will at some point say, all right, this is a good sort of beginning and we're going to get this information out in a book. And then my my hope and desire is, is that either it sparks more people to go do that. And then next thing you know, we have like encyclopedias of interesting stories of the industry, uh, or we'll just continue to, to, to write and to document it and, and my hope is that again, this is like, maybe I need better hobbies, but to me, this is wonderful content marketing that, you know, if you think about legacy, you know, one day when I, I leave the industry, at least I can look back and, and say, Hey, this, here's a, here's a, a blip that I, I was able to, to put out into the universe that maybe somebody would see value in. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and this is not a small undertaking. You said you're giving yourself 365 days you and the team 365 days to do this but like how when did you first come up with the thought of doing this right because like the kickstarter's only been out for what 39 40 days yeah. so far yeah. um but that wasn't like the starting point right like when did you start thinking about this about three years ago yeah uh, and then uh, up until recent it's just always been itching at me and I've, i have a folder that i've kept all the stories in that of documenting it along the way and then uh but yeah three years ago was when at least the idea of like hey why, why does this exist and how can we do this and we just started to, to i started to ask questions around it and my father and then you know 60 days ago finally said you know what uh, now or never type of a thing so let's go and see if there's interest in it i don't know maybe it was just me that had an itch for this and come to find out that no one cared and I still probably would have done it um <laughs> anyways just for my own um but then when I saw the response of I think there's like close to 60 backers at this point which is is, is I'm, I'm thrilled to see that and, and actually globally too so yeah so it's it, we're gonna give a yeah it, it, it'll it'll be it's a good amount of work no doubt especially if you want to make it good uh after writing one book and seeing how hard that was just to do that and that that like I didn't I didn't need to go research on that one. That was me putting uh, my words on paper and working with uh, a writer to to help put that together. And that 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 was hard. Now going and getting stories out of people and how that all works. Um, and actually, even the process of you know, do I? You should see what I traveled with this last trip. I took to California to go 
interview a guy by the name of Bud Toy, who uh, one of the original uh, in the industry. I brought like bags full of stuff, and we come to find out, we like just sat and talked. And I wrote it down in, in a paper and I was like, man, I just didn't need that extra piece of luggage with me, but you learn, I've not done this before. So we'll see what happens. But that's part, it's part of the reason why we want to document it too, is that nowadays, again, like this isn't, you're not going to see this at con um, or at a, a film festival, right? It's a, this is a, so I don't, I don't profess to, to be at that level. <laughs> um, but I also oh, think that these I, things are approachable. I can see that. that's because you're because you're really into that. I said we'll do it at IC West. That's like maybe that'll be like a new thing. There'll be like marketing and storytelling, and like you know, there'll be just like they give awards for the you know the the newest doohickey that comes out. Uh, you know, at, at the maybe they'll have also these awards that we'll start doing, and we could turn this into like South by Southwest. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's in fact what I was thinking. I don't know. There's something to be said about like adding some of the arts around what we do that may not be so terrible. I think it's the creative things that keep life interesting. A hundred percent. This is how, again, I think this is how we attract talent and then how we celebrate the past. Cause frankly, a lot of the stuff that you see that's new out in the marketplace has been built off of, you know, the shoulders of a lot of people down the road before. And I think this is a good way to celebrate that past. I can't wait. I am a backer. I can't wait for my copy. It'll it'll make its way to one okay. side of this display. I appreciate um, that. Yeah, now we have to go do like the totes and all the other stuff that we've done <laughs> before. Like, all that's on the list of things we got to go do now. Yeah. Well, Lee, let us know how we can support. We're with you. Exactly. No, I appreciate that very much. And you all have. So thank you for what you're doing. And the same goes to you. If I can help in any way. And I, I love what you all are doing and uh, keep doing it. So thank you.